Okay, can. Thank you. All right. So, um, thank you, Fabian, for the introduction. So, I shall start with the class today. Before that, um, just a little bit of introduction about me. So, um, this is me behind the scene doing makeup for. Uh, this one is for the Jie Mei, you know, on a wedding day. Um, this is my daughter. Uh, this is some hip hop look. <laughs> okay. Um, this is my boyfriend. And this is me. So uh, before COVID time, you know, when we when we ha when I have free time, I will go biking. Okay, but unfortunately now we are stuck in Singapore. So this is my family. So we use essential oils for the entire family. Okay, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, we are not doctors, nurses, or any medical professionals, and we are not claiming to be one. We are not treating or diagnosing anyone in this talk. The information provided here is a collection of the experiences from ours and those of other people, including doTERRA essential oils, or from our studies of uh, credible sources of information on essential oils and related views. We find essential oils powerful and safe, and that's why we're sharing them with you today. So let's go straight to the topic. What is Gua Sha? Okay. So basically, um, gua sha literally translates to scrape sand, but of course your face is not scan, not sand now, okay? <laughs> so um, it's a traditional uh, method, right, used for more than 2,000 years in the East Asia and in China, used to improve our circulation and remove stagnant toxin buildup. It can be used on a person's back, buttocks, neck, arms, legs, and face. Okay, of course, I, I think you may have seen some people while wow, we very red backs, you know, after a gua sha, but no, this is not what we are going to do out to our face, okay? So we need to control our strength. I will explain further on that later on. Okay, um, these are the tools or some of the tools that are used in face gua sha. So it could be a Chinese ceramic spoon uh, that is, uh, or um, rose quartz like, like this. Okay, rose quad, the pink color ones, or jade and uh, aventurine. Okay, um, basically, uh, rose quartz is more suitable for people with sensitive skin or acne prone skin. Okay, um, jade has very cool features, so it can help us to dissipate the bad heat from the affected part. And a lot of people like to use jade because the chi, the energy, the chi energy is similar to that of our human body. Therefore, it's very helpful in balancing our chi. Okay, and if you want to do uh, anti wrinkles, you know, you want to relieve tension from the face, bring bounce and youthfulness to the skin, you can use the green aventurine, which is in Chinese Tong Ling Yu. Okay, the black color one is called a Bian Shi, Bian Stone. Okay, it's actually the most authentic Gua Sha tool material that originate from the Siping village in China. So this one, uh, this bian shi, right, was used in the, uh, used by the emperor in the Chinese ancient time, okay? So that is most authentic. Um, okay, so what then are the benefits of face gua sha? You know, why, why are we talking to you about face gua sha these days? Okay, so, um, Doing a face gua sha actually help us to carry nutrient-rich and oxygenated blood to the skin cells and the deeper tissues. So it helps us to um, drain the lymph fluid, which is often filled with toxins and waste out of the cells. By doing so, it helps us to uh, soften our wrinkles and it leaves and tighten our skin. Okay. So it also helps us to eliminate dark circles and under eye bags, brighten our complexion, and help to reduce pigmentation. So this greatly helps us to uh, heal our breakouts and pimples and helping our skin cells overall. So uh, then, after you do the gua sha, right, it actually helps our skin to absorb the facial product better, be it your, your serum, your moisturizer, your night cream. So um, that's the very important benefit like, because otherwise, right, um, your skin cells cannot absorb the, the moisturizer 
uh, nutrients and benefits. Okay, so okay. Uh, other benefits. Okay, um, I'm sure you all know. Uh, you all go food reflex, right? Food reflex has uh. Why is it good for your health? Because it's linked to different parts of your body because of the acupuncture point. Likewise, our, our face has different zones that are linked to our internal organs. Okay, so it actually helps us to fine-tune our internal body organs. For example, when you go to the salon for your facial, right? Uh, let's say you have a pimple um, um, right here. Okay, then your, your facial therapist will ask you, you know, hey, recently you've been sleeping late, is it? Okay, why they know? Because when we sleep late, okay, uh, I think around 11 p.m. to 1 p.m., right, it's a time when our uh, liver recuperates and re regenerates, you know. So if you sleep past 1 o'clock, your body cannot do that. So therefore, it shows up in the form of pimple on this, this spot here. So this is just an example. Lah. So over here. Okay. So, washa is not for everybody. So, if you have had any of these conditions, please do not do this washa until you consult your doctor. Okay. So, you have had surgery in the last six weeks. You suffer from medical condition that affects your skin or your veins, or you have an infection, tumor, or wound that has not yet healed, or you bleed easily, or you have had an implant, or you have this condition called the deep vein thrombosis you are on uh, blood thinning medication or blood clotting disorders, please do not do gua sha until you consult your doctor. Okay. So, uh, of course, we cannot do gua sha on our bare skin that is dry, you know, because you are going to injure your skin tissues. Okay. So, today we are going to talk about essential oils uh, in this uh, gua sha process. So, what are essential oils? So, basically, essential oils are aromatic compound extracts that are found in plant parts such as the seed, the bark, um, the flower, the stem, or fruits. Okay? Is the essential oil used a recent thing? The answer is no. Okay, why do we know? Because we have found archaeological records you know, giving us evidence that our, our ancestors, you know, the Egyptians, the Indus civilizations, um, in China, in the Yellow Emperor classic of internal medicine, and even in Greece, okay, there is historical record of essential oils being used. Okay, so how then do we extract essential oils? Today, these are the two key methods that we are using, namely the steam distillation method or the cold press method that is used for the citrus essential oils. Okay, of course, you don't just grow, grow lavender at your doorstep and then you go and make your own uh, lavender essential oil and you call that high quality, okay? Because um, it takes a lot of careful planning and precision to extract high quality essential oils. Okay, so doTERRA actually sources essential oils from different parts of the world. For example, um, lavender is sourced from Bulgaria and France, where the, the lavender plant grows at its best. And the farmers have been, have been so experienced in planting and harvesting uh, the flowers and the parts for essential oils. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to need you to stand by. Uh, you can take a screenshot of this for later use, okay? So you can take a screenshot of the different oils that are suitable for your skin type. Okay, for normal skin type, we can use lavender, geranium, ylang-ylang, immortelle, rose. For oily skin, we can use cypress, lemon, tea tree, lemongrass, wild orange. Okay, I will give you, okay, okay, for dry skin, geranium, lavender, myrrh, sandalwood, cedarwood, yellow palm. For sensitive skin, you can consider lavender, 
geranium, Roman chamomile. Okay. For matured skin, geranium, helichrysum, frankincense, immortel, yellow palm, myrrh. For blemished skin, HD clear, tea tree, eucalyptus, geranium, yellow palm, and frankincense. You will note that many oils are repeated, okay? Because um, essential oils are actually very versatile. They have different properties that are good for the skin. For example, um, just now, Fabian mentioned Kopai Ba is good for smooth, clear skin. It's good for blemished skin as well. So can use Kopai Ba. Okay, so this is a summary of the different oils that were mentioned earlier. Okay, and for example, lavender is suitable for normal skin, for dry skin, for sensitive skin. And these are the benefits that lavender essential oil has for our skin. So you may wish to take a screenshot because in the essence of time, I will not be going through uh, every essential oil one by one. Okay, so if you are ready, five, four, three, two, one. Next. Okay, if you are using citrus oil such as um, lemon and wild orange, please be careful because citrus oils are photosensitive. Okay, they are good to help us fight free radicals and help us to brighten our skin. It can help us with our pigmentation, but it is photosensitive. That means, right, after using it, right, you should avoid the sunlight for 12 hours at least. So try to use um, citrus oils only at night. Okay, next. Um, Mara, Roman chamomile, helichrysum, frankincense, all these are very good oils for our skin. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, um, I have gone through uh, the oils earlier, they are single oils. So now these are the blends that doctora have. So, um, uh, in June, we had the 200 PV promo. So a lot of us would have the free Immortel already. So we can use the Immortel uh, later, which is what I'm going to use tonight. Okay, Yellow Palm, HD Clear. HD Clear is good for people who, who often have breakouts and have blemished skin. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, um, and because essential oils are very, very potent, so we do not... I mean, we will avoid using them directly on our skin, okay? For people with sensitive skin especially because it can um, damage your skin, okay? So in doTERRA, we use fractionated coconut oil as a carrier oil for your essential oil and I will tell you why. Because it's natural, it's easily absorbed by the skin. It's a natural emollient to increase essential oil distribution and helps our skin to better absorb the essential oil benefits. Okay. It's odorless, colorless, and therefore it blends easily with any essential oil. It's not greasy, so it doesn't leave an oily feel on your skin after using it. So you do not have to wash away after doing the face wash later, okay? And it has a long shelf life because it doesn't turn rancid easily. And it's suitable for all skin types. Regardless whether you're oily skin, dry skin, blemished skin, you, are, you, are, uh, you can uh, use... FCO, fractionated coconut oil, okay? Okay, um, we are almost ready to start the Gua Sha. So for those who have your tools and your oil ready, would you like to turn on your camera so that I can uh, help to guide you along as we do the face Gua Sha? Hi, Gloria. Thank you. Anybody? Uh, hi, June. Okay. Any more? Any more? Hi, Pauline. Okay, so for those of you who do not have your um, face serum, I'm just going to share a simple DIY. Okay, so you can recycle your 15ml bottle. Okay, you can recycle your 15ml bottle. Okay. Or a, a 10ml roller bottle. Okay, it's up to you. So if you're uh, using a 15 ml uh, bottle, empty bottle, you just need about 15 to 30 drops of your selected essential oils. You don't need to use all the oils I showed you earlier, okay? You can use two to three types 
and then a total of 15 to 30 drops depending on your skin sensitivity level. If your skin is highly sensitive, I recommend you use a fewer number of drops. Maybe you can use 15. If you're choosing three types of essential oils, you can do five drops each. Okay? So if your skin is not sensitive, it's normal, you can just go ahead with 10 drops each if you're using three types. Okay? And then you just top up with FCO. So um, you can also do a patch test before you start using on your face, okay? Um, the fastest areas where the essential oils are absorbed into your body is actually your inner arm, your elbow, your inner wrist, or just uh, under your ear, okay, on your neck. Okay, so you just um, apply a little bit of the serum you have prepared for yourself there. And if you have a sensitive reaction, right, you will get redness within minutes. So it will mean that you need to further dilute your serum with FCO. Okay, uh, a quick testimonial. This is myself before I start doing the face gua sha. This is after the first time gua sha. This is after the second night gua sha. And on the third night, I got too tired. So I did my gua sha still, but I fell asleep after that because it's so relaxing. Okay. And then on the fourth day, this is how I look after the gua sha. So you can see a very significant um, reduction in the dark eye circle. You can see that the skin is lifted up and it's brighter overall. Okay, so enough for myself. I'm going to show you another friend of mine. Uh, she actually joined my gua sha class uh, last month. So this picture was taken before the gua sha. This is her DIY serum. She used um, frankincense, lavender, Roman chamomile, copaiba, and FCO. Okay, because copaiba has the um, property, right? It will help you to bring out and enhance um, the properties of the other essential oils. Okay, so after the first wash up, this is how she looked. So you can see that her skin is lifted very uh, lightly. This is just after one attempt. You can see her face lifted, okay? And she continued to do this every night, okay? And just two nights ago, I told her I'm preparing for tonight's Kwa Sha, you know, on the 2nd of July. Can you send me your current photo? So she did. Okay, let's look at her face now. Okay, I'm so happy. Can you see? She's so happy too because her face, her skin tone has um, significantly improved. Okay, you can see that the pore size have reduced. Okay, her skin uh, have lifted. It's firmer now. Okay. So, first, you need to have cleansed your skin. I'm sure all of you have washed your face before you come in, yeah? Okay, okay. Now, I need you to take out your camera, take out your handphone. Okay, take out your handphone. Okay. Use the back camera. Don't use the selfie camera, okay? Use the back camera. Take a photo of yourself now before we start the gua sha. Okay? You don't have to share the, share the photo with us if you don't want to, but I'm going to tell you why you should share later on, okay? So, um, come, let's take out your camera. Let's take a picture together. Uh, Set timer. Okay, I have taken my photo. How about you? Can you just wave your phone so I know you have taken your photo? Okay, this is very important because you, you want to know whether this gua sha really help you lift up your skin, right? Okay, so once you have taken, um, okay, next you can take out your toner. Okay, apply some uh, toner on your face to prep your skin for the serum that is coming. Okay. Pat it in. Pat it on your face. Please don't rub your face uh, in a, in a
violent manner, in a rough manner, okay? Just tap. Okay? Okay, once you are ready, apply the serum onto your palms. Oh, yes. Uh, earlier, somebody asked me a question. If I had bought if I had received my free Immortel last from last month, how to make it into a, a blend, right? Just so you can see just now, um, you use 15 to 30 drops. Okay, then you top out with FCO, yeah? So then now, okay, take out your roller or your uh, DIY serum in the 15 ml bottle that you prepared, okay? Just roll or drip on your fingers. Make sure you have enough for your whole face, but if you don't have enough, it's okay. You can add on later. So, apply all over on your fingers, okay? And we're going to lightly tap into our skin. Okay, use an upward motion. Never, never apply your serum in a downward motion, okay? Apply it gently in an upward motion. Okay, is everyone ready? Now, you can take out your gua sha board if you have. Okay. If you do not have, then how? Can you still do gua sha? Yes, you can. Okay. If you have a 15 ml, uh, a 10 ml roller bottle or a 15 ml roller bottle, uh, essential oil bottles, you can use the back of the bottle. Just make sure you clean it first. Okay, you can use the back of the essential oil bottle to do the gua sha if you do not have a gua sha board or if you do not have a jade roller. Okay, so um, can you see the red dots over here? Okay, these are the acupressure points. Okay, the red dots. Okay, what we're going to do is, okay, so uh, for, for easy visual, I'm going to use a, a acupressure pen so you can see, okay? So, uh, I'm going to start with the right side of my face, okay? Next to the eyebrow, on the inner part of the eyebrow here at this point, okay? Just gently press three times. One, two, three. Okay, for people who do not have gua sha board or essential oil bottles, you can also use your knuckles. Use your knuckles. Okay? One, two, three. Okay? Okay, next we move to the center part of the eyebrow. Gently press three times. One, two, three. Then we go to the end of the eyebrow. We press three times gently. One, two, three. And then we go to the temple. One, two, three. Uh, sorry, ladies, I missed out one point here. Uh, inner, inner corner of your eye. You gently press three times or so. One, two, three. Okay, now we go to the outer corner of the eye. One, two, three. Okay, um, divide your eye into three parts. Huh? So one, two, and three. Okay, so at the outer third. Okay, three times. One, two, three. The inner third. One, two, three. And about one cm down. One, two, three. Next to your nose. One, two, three. Next to your lips. One, two, three. Your chin. One, two, three. Okay, everybody has a gently... Press three times on the acupressure point. Okay, next we are going to start to do the gua sha. Okay, this is very important. Huh? Please do not hold your gua sha at 90 degrees Celsius. I mean, sorry, at 90 degree angle. Okay, because you will injure your face, you will injure your skin. You always hold it at a smaller angle. Okay, from 30 to 35 is fine. Can you see? So, 
Okay, we are going to start. Okay, above your at your eyebrow. At your eyebrow. Okay, remember the points, these points, the red dots. One, two, three, right? So we are going to scrape upwards. Okay, gently. Let's do it ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, we are going to go across the forehead. Okay, from the inner eyebrow, we are going to go across. One, two, go to your hairline, yeah? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, you don't need to use a lot of force, okay? Don't do until you hurt yourself and you feel pain, yeah? Okay, now we're going to do above the your eye you know this uh, brow bone area okay so same thing we're going to do 10 times be even gentler here because your eye area is very delicate all right so from the inner corner of the eye go to your temper one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, very good. Now we are going to do the below your eye. Okay, below your eye. Same thing, ten. From left, from the inner corner of your eye to the uh, tai yang xue, to the side of your head here, the temples, all right? Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, very good. Now we are going to do, um, start from the side of your nose, the point you pressed just now. Okay, from this point, we are going to go in an upward motion to the upper dot on your ear, the upper part of your ear. Okay, where the hairline is. So same thing, 10 times. Okay, so we go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, very good. Now we will start from the side of our mouth. We are going to go upwards to the center part of our ear. Okay? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. When you end on that part, right, you can gently press it a bit. Okay? Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, very good. Now we will do from your chin, from the acupressure point on the chin to the lower part of your ear. Okay, same thing when you end there, you can just gently massage it a bit. All right, so let's go. One. Two, three, 
So if you have a board that's like that, right? This part actually helps to uh, shape your chin. Can you see? Four. So it actually goes nicely on my chin. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, as you do this uh, gentle uh, scraping motion, right? If you feel certain part of your face is feeling a bit swan swan, like, a bit sore, right? That means, okay, uh, you're actually helping to regulate the body part that correspond to it. Just like here is the liver, remember? And then with the kidney and, and the other area. So you can go back to the earlier slide and take a screenshot later if you want to. So you will see how it corresponds. So as I was doing this, right? I could feel the g -g 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 -g, you know, like like sand like that, like like it's not smooth, right? Because the limb, the limb uh, node is actually congested. So if you have time at home, maybe while watching TV at night or while attending uh classes by living essentially, right? You can do it like that. Okay. So now we have done um the face, right? Please do not neglect your neck. Okay, do not neglect your neck. Okay. So um this is your neck yeah so we're going to scrape upwards yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Okay, move on to cover the other part of your neck. Depending on how big your board is, if you have a big board, you can cover the entire surface. You can do it once. But if you have a small board, you may need to do a few, a few times because different column. Okay, so make sure you do your entire uh, neck. So now I'm doing just the right side. Yeah. So after that, are we done with the face? No, we are not. <laughs> okay, next step is very, very, very important. Okay, because now that you have bring all the toxin right all the limb toxin to your to your hairline right so you have to drain it okay this is how we drain it okay so we go behind our ear okay, just for showing you ah. go behind the ear and come down your neck okay go behind the ear scrape down your neck so you use your board to do that okay so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, very good. Now we have successfully completed gua sha for half the face. Okay, so uh, you may like to take out your camera now, take a photo and see yourself, see yourself, you know, left side and right side, any difference? Okay, can you see? Okay, look at my face. You will see this side is more lifted. You can see or not? Can you see? Look at yourself in the mirror. You take a photo, it's easier to see. It's very obvious. It's very obvious. Okay, so, so far, anybody has any question? Anybody has any question? Okay, if not, we will continue with the other side of your face, okay? So that your, your face is balanced up, okay? So, similarly, we are going to press the points, the acupressure points marked by the red dots, okay? The mirror uh, image. So, we start with this Jing Ming Xue at the inner corner of your eye, okay? One, two, three. Then we go up to the inner eyebrow. 
one, two, three. Can use essential oils on the eye area. Uh, for serum, yes, it's gentle enough. I use that. Okay, it depends on your on your skin type whether um you you just make sure the oils don't get inside your eye. That is very important. Okay, is it good to do face wash every day? Um, so long as you don't have the conditions uh, mentioned earlier, right? It's okay to do face wash every day. Okay, if you've got no time, you can at least do it once a week. Okay, the neck area is going upward. The downward part, right, is actually the back. Just now where I show you when we drain the, the toxin. That's why behind is, is actually downwards. Share a video of Gua Sha Step. Uh, okay, let me try. <laughs> if not, y'all can re-watch this video. Uh, today's recording. Okay, so... Two, three, I'm at the temple now. Then I go to the outer corner of the eyes. One, two, three. The outer third of the eye. One, two, three. The inner third of the eye. One, two, three. One cm down. One, two, three. The side of the nose. One, two, three. The side of the mouth. One, two, three. The chin. One, two, three. Two. This time round, we can go a bit faster. Okay, so let's start. Okay, the from the eyebrow, go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, like I said, it depends on your the size of your board. Okay, if your board can cover the entire area, you can just do one time. But if you're using a smaller board, right, you may need to do a few times, following following the lines here. Okay, it's important that you cover every part. Okay, then you can do like 10 times of each area. Okay, after you're done the upward uh, straight motion, we go from inside to outside. Okay, go out to your hairline. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. If after scraping your face is a little bit red, nah, it is okay. It's the blood circulation. It will go away. But just make sure you're not hurting yourself. Make sure you don't feel pain, okay? Now is the eye area below your eyebrow. So in to out to the temper. Inside to outside. And massage a bit. Inside to outside. Massage a bit. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Feel, okay. Some of you I noticed, I think June is using the, the like a moon shape kind of a board, right? So you can actually follow instead just now I show your point by point, right? Okay, you can also do the entire face. Just make sure it touches the point. Okay? Then we go left to right. Okay, in to out. In to out. So at the ear area, so you just give it a massage. Okay? Ten times. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now, uh, okay, if you're using a small board, please follow the, the points I will share earlier, okay? So now I'm going to do at the chin. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you know when we do this, right? If you have that good, 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 that that sand, you know, 
like blockage like that, right? If you do every day, you will notice that, right, the blockages actually reduce. This is what my friend, the one who did 19 days, right, she told me, okay, she could feel her g -g 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 reduce, okay? So now I'm going to do my neck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now can you remember what's the last step? Behind the ear, go down. Okay, behind the ear, go down. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we are we have completed our entire face guasha. Okay, so I'm gonna invite you to take out your camera one more time. Okay, take a after photo. Okay, let's see. Anybody got very visible difference? Okay, anybody like to share how you find your skin? Now, after the guasha, how do you feel? Uh, Jun, can I invite you to share how you feel now? My face feel a bit warm. How about you? It's normal to have your face feel warmer. It means there is blood circulation. Okay, Pauline, would you like to share your experience, how you feel? My face looks more lifted. Thank you. Pauline, how you feel? June feels tighter. Pauline's feel warm. How about Gloria? How you feel? Very hot now. Very hot now, huh? Because blood <laughs> circulation, huh? <laughs> okay, Janice, how do you feel, Janice? Very hot and lifted. Very hot and your face feel tighter, lifted, yeah? Very good. So you're doing it correctly. So after doing the gua sha, right, what do you need to do with your board? You need to clean it, okay? Your gua sha tool, whatever tool you're using. Face very shiny, very good. Okay, so uh, clean with a warm soapy water with a gentle cleanser. You can use your face cleanser to clean this, it's fine. Just make sure you dry it well before storing it away. And if you're using things like rose quartz or jade, right, please be careful because they are very fragile. If you drop it, they will break. Now, um, for those of you who do not have a gua sha board, who do not have any gua sha tool, okay, um, this is your chance to get a free one. Okay, so just now I taught you all to use the bottle, right? So if you had done the bottle, okay. Now I need you to share your before and after photos. Before and after gua sha photo. Remember, just now we take photo, right? Okay, please share. And uh, you can share to the group chat that you are in, okay? And then um, you get to walk away with one gua sha board, the face type. Something like what Jun has, but it's the jade type. Okay, so um, more skincare tips, yeah? Um, take vitamins. Okay, you want to have good skin, make sure your body has all the nutrients that it needs. Use good skincare products. Um, doTERRA has a very good range for different skin type. Eat healthy, okay? Um, try to avoid processed food if you can. Eat whole foods like carrot greens, um, um, relieve stress. Okay, if you're very stressful, your skin will show. Okay, use lavender, lavender piece. Okay, they will help you to calm down and relax. Um, drink water. Oh yes, after finish the kwasa, please drink water. Okay, I already added lemon essential oil inside. Help to detox. Okay, because you drain the lim, lim uh, toxin away. So you need to drink water to flush it out. 
Okay, exfoliate. Please exfoliate your skin at least once a week. Okay, um, get good quality sleep. Okay, if you cannot sleep well because your husband snores, please use breathe for your husband. <laughs> you can diffuse breathe together with lavender bees. Okay, aging is a fact of life, but looking your age is not. Okay, age fast or age slow is for you to decide. There's a saying, right? Okay, so if you're so busy, so busy, you've got no time to do gua sha, right? I'm going to teach you a shortcut. Okay, use your knuckles. Okay, do this. One, two, three. Okay, you can do three to ten times up to you. Okay. Okay. Use the thumb, the inside of your knuckle below your eye. Go to your temple. It's the same steps. The steps are the same. So if you've got no time, you are lazy to wash board after that, right? It's okay. Use your own hand, your knuckles. Okay. So um, for knuckles, right, the neck part, you can go up and then go behind your ear and swipe down. From the neck up, go behind your ear, swipe down. Okay, this is a shortcut method, like in the morning before you go to work. Okay, you can do this before you leave your house. Okay, at night, then you take out your gua sha board. It's fine. Okay, so we need to take care of our skin. Uh, okay, so uh, doTERRA skincare. I just want to share... Um, um, last time, right, before I know doTERRA, right, I was using another brand of uh, skincare product. Just the serum alone, uh, the serum can last me maybe about 2-3 months, okay, but just the serum alone is $120 over dollars. Just the serum alone, but you look at doTERRA Virage, the entire set for member is just $144, yeah? So if you have problem skin, you can use HD Clear, okay? Uh, you can also use essential skincare, which has, uh, I think one set comes with about seven items. Okay, but if you, like me, you know, lazy to use so many steps, right? You can just use a rush. I think it works very well for me, at least. Uh, and for mature skin now, okay? <laughs> okay, so for those of you who are not a member yet, as I shared earlier, apart from your skin, we have to take care of our entire body in order for our skin to look nice, pretty, healthy looking, okay? So, uh, this home essentials kit has all that we need from immune, immune support, respiratory support, um, anti-aging, anti-inflammation, sleep, calming, um, detox for, for, uh, for lemon, um, tea tree for skin support, for acne, for fungi problem, um, for a power immune boost, oregano, deep blue for our sore joints, muscle tension, peppermint, uh, and digestion, I use it every day for um, digestive support, okay? And the entire set like that with the FCO is and a petal diffuser is only $5 a day. It's cheaper than my serum, <laughs> okay? So, and from here, we can also use the product here for DIY serum. Okay, so, um, okay, so these are the promotion that um, Fabian shared earlier. So, just a refresher. Okay, uh, healing hands. Uh, if you get a bottle of touch, 100% goes to help uh, Star Shelter, which helps women and children who are victims of domestic violence. And I have come to the end <laughs> of my sharing. Uh, any other questions from anybody? If no question, I will hand the time back to Fabian.